Another feature in the new issue ops opt-in beta is the ability to assign types to your issues, such as a bug or a task. Issue types allow you to classify and manage your issues with a shared and consistent language across all repositories in an organization. You can quickly understand the progress of your bug backlog, find all the high-level initiative teams are working on, and understand the breakdown of work in a project. Hey y'all, I'm Mickey Gousset, a staff DevOps architect on the GitHub Fast Track team. Before we jump right into a demo, I wanted to ask that if you enjoy this video and this channel, to please like the video and subscribe to the channel to get the algorithm to push me out to more people. Okay, let's dive into looking at issue types. Okay, just a quick reminder of what we did in the previous video, and if I remember, I'll put a link somewhere on the screen to give you access to the previous video. But in the previous video, we had some issues that we created. We called it a feature. We called it a user story and task. If you go into feature, then you'll see that feature has some sub issues in it, user stories, and the user stories have sub issues in them called tasks. I've also added a label here on the feature, just a label called question. In addition to working at the issues and the sub issues here, we also created a project board where you can see on the project board, we have um, all of our different items here. We can see who their parent issues are. We can see the progress on the sub issues. Um, and we could also have a breakdown of different views. Like for example, we could take this view and say group by values. And this groups all the feature. It gives us a feature with all the user stories. Here's a user story with all the tasks. What's not easy to do is just give me a list of all the tasks or just give me a list of all the user stories, right? I mean, I could come back over here to issues and maybe like if I had named them all like that, I could say, you know, show me all the, the ones that have user in them and do it like that. But that's really not very helpful. This is where the next beta feature that's available to you comes into play. So if we open up our feature here, then you'll notice on the right-hand side, we now have a type option. And this is where you can assign your issue a type, which then allows you to do things like filter on it, search on it, stuff like that. Now, by default, they created three types, bug, enhancement, task. Well, I kind of need feature and user story to go with the theme that I'm giving you here. So let's go look at first, how do we create new issue types? Well, you do that at the organization level. So your organizational owner has to actually do this for you. So if you go to your organization and you go to settings, and on the left-hand side, you go to planning and then issue types, this is where you can create your issue types. You can have a max of 10 issue types. So I'm gonna create two new issue types for me. I'm gonna create one called feature and we'll make it green. And we'll make one more issue type and we'll call it user story. And we'll make user stories per or red because we can't or pink. And we'll click create. So now I've got feature, user story, and task. So let's go back to my repository. And for example, on my feature here, I can now come in here and I can say, oh, I need to do a refresh because. We just added those. So there they are. And I can say, oh, you're of type feature. And then I could say, open up my user story. And my user story is of type user story. And then I could even go under the task under this user story. And I could say, okay, this task is of type task. Now, if we go back and look at my feature, we'll see my feature has a type as well as a label applied to it, because you might still want to use labels to organize some things. If you go back to the list of issues, you'll now see that the labels appear across the top. The type appears next to the number. So here's the feature type, here's the user story type, here's the task type. You could actually filter by task type here. So let's say I just want to see all the tasks. I could say, just show me all the tasks. So this would be one way in the issues tab that I could drill down into the specific work items that I want to see. So what does this look like though on the project board? Well, on the project board, let's come over to the project board and 
let's add in the field type. So now we can see, let's do a refresh. Now we can see the different types that are there. And the project board makes it really easy to say, come in here and say, okay, that's a task. That's a user story. That's a task. And that's a task. So if we come over here to this view and do a refresh, then obviously we have the ability to, in this case, we're just grouping by feature type. But what if we created a new view and we add in, say, the type field so we can see it. But if we wanted this to just be a list of tasks, I could come in here and I could say filter by tasks. And now I've got a list of just my tasks. Or if I wanted it to be filtered by feature, I could filter by feature. And now I've got a list of just my features. So the work item types allow us to easily drill down and sort and organize the issues to be able to see them in the way that we want to see them. I think this is really cool. I think this is really powerful. It is going to make working with issues really nice. And that's all there is to issue types. Right now, this feature is available in an opt-in public preview. To sign up, go to github.com slash features slash issues slash sign up and select the organization you want to add this feature to. Remember, you will need to be an organizational admin to request this. If you aren't, just ask your organizational admin to do it for you. Thanks for watching.